for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. So for the present time, we got the King of Wands. And it's paired with the Ace of Swords. So with the King of Wands, it's about someone wanting to serve as a mentor for you. A mentor. If we're not actually talking about an actual person, this card is showing that men around you, they are very supportive of you and they think really high, highly of you. They think well of you. You'll probably start to feel really ambitious towards the end of April. Um, you'll start to feel goal-oriented and you're going to have the will to accomplish what you have in mind. But you have to try to stay positive, think positive. So, this King of Wands is paired with the Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords is about new beginnings of some sort in your life. It could be on several fronts, more than one new beginning. Sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by a separation. Some kind of separation. It could be from a relationship, from a job situation, or maybe just a situation. Some type of separation starts a new beginning. But just know that as anxiety producing as new beginnings can sometimes be, Underneath it all is really good, beneficial energy that's going to take you to where you want to go and where you really want to be. This Ace of Swords, it calls on you not to be afraid to take a leap. Jump right in if it's in your best interest. So, for the present time, <clears throat> King of Wands and the Ace of Swords... There's someone that has a very protective and caring feelings about you, Gemini. Someone. I don't know if it's a family member, it's a co-worker, or if it's your person. Very, very protect. They're very, very protective of you, and they care a lot about you with this King of King of Wands. Maybe someone that you have a lot of chemistry with. Maybe. But like I said, they um, they want to support you in a lot of ways. Maybe more ways than you know. Now this person could be coming towards you. Maybe they're not, maybe they're not uh, in your life yet. But um, because it's with this Ace of Swords... I'm picking up that it's a new beginning with someone like this. Yeah, once you once you put a stop to something, there's some type of challenge that you could be facing right now with this Ace of Swords. Once you put a stop to this challenge, there's someone that's coming towards you that will be very protective of you. And they'll have a lot of caring feelings. For you, they'll, they'll they'll be caring a lot about you. They care a lot about you. Yeah, and it brings it brings about a new beginning on several fronts. More than one new beginning. Now, if this person is already in your life, you already know who this person person is. There's still something that has to stop. Like I said, it could be a job situation, could be a, a relationship, something has to stop. And um, I'm picking up that there's a new beginning with this person that cares a lot for you. 
So that's what I have for you for the present time. Now, let's take a look at the person you're dealing with, how they see you. Now, they see you as this Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Cups is about wishful thinking. It reminds us to pay attention to what's now, what is now, and to count your many blessings that we each experience and not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So, Gemini's, make sure that you're counting your blessings. And not to spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So, try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So, this is how they see you, Gemini, as this Four of Cups. Well, it's one of the ways they see you. Let's, let's clarify this with the Five of Pentacles. It's with the Five of Pentacles. You see this lady, she's, um, it looks like she may have left this house, left the door of this house. If she was trying to go in, maybe she couldn't get in, but the dog is even barking at her. Like, go away. So, she's walking away really fast. And someone's carrying her off. Someone's under, has her on their shoulder. Well, someone's holding her while they walk away really fast. Now, this Five of Pentacles, it's about feeling less than secure. And it's important to remember that there's always help available when you need it from forces seen and unseen. You might start to feel alone. Or you could be feeling that way now, Gemini. But just know that you have the capacity to change that. So reach out. You, like I said, you might feel like you're being left out in the cold. As though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. Just realize that this is not the case. So do the best that you can with what you have. But remember that the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it. Because the help you need will come. So your person, they see you like the Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So like I said, this Four of Cups about wishful thinking and forgetting to count your blessings. They see you with some regret, having some regret about them or this connection. So it's causing you to probably daydream a lot. And be aloof and play aloof or just act aloof aloof now because it's with the five of Pentacles they see you as feeling like you've been left out in the cold yeah they know that you're You're not happy in this connection. Um, when you get the Five of Pentacles, it also means that the person you have your eye on, they may not be treating you the way that they should. So, they see you as unhappy because maybe you were mistreated by them or this connection. And it's causing you to play aloof, feel like you regret this connection, and you do a lot of daydreaming. You're just stuck in your head. But they know that you feel left out in the cold. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. Now, you see them as the Nine of Swords. And it's with the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Swords 
it's guarding against feelings of anxiety because you can see this man has his head down his hands over his face and the hood over his head so it's about feeling anxious and needing to take a good look at whether or not any of that is under your own power or control and try to lessen it or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety if this is the case take a good look at it and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you there could be something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be different bigger or in some way just different so try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty really is so that explains the nine of swords and this is how you see your person you also see them as this page of Pentacles page of Pentacles is about boredom in some kind of way with the page of Pentacles you're tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for some excitement so it's about rethinking the impulse and finding a better use of your energy it's a great energy the uh, page of Pentacles is about a lot of energy which is a great energy to support you when you have uh, tedious work to accomplish because it gives you the focus the backbone and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun so basically you see them as the nine of swords and the page of Pentacles <laughs> you see them as possibly bored with this connection you see them thinking that it's lost some of its luster and they have some anxiety about it so they might start to do things that cause problems in this connection just to shake it up and they, they have anxiety there's some sadness there so that's how you see your person Gemini now let's take a look at why it's happening now it's happening because this three of cups and judgment now the three of cups it's considered a card of reunions it could be a romantic union it could be another type of re reunion but in its broadest sense it's about running back into someone or something that's been away for some time for a long time it's considered to be a very happy reunion very upbeat very positive it can also mean celebration your own or someone that you care about maybe celebrating a new baby wedding or a happy occasion so this is one of the reasons why it's happening due to the three of cups um, let's clarify it okay because it's with the judgment card here now the judgment card it's about jumping to conclusions decisions and judgments being too hastily made if you know you're prone to doing this it's a sign that you need to slow down and give more thought give people more chances and it could be a time of spiritual awakening also it can also be a make or break period in the relationship so basically why it's happening three of cups and judgment okay so 
what I'm picking up is that there's a need for forgiveness with this judgment card. Yep, some things have happened in this connection that's caused some anxiety. And someone just feeling like, like the connection needs to be revamped or spruced up. And then we have you feeling left out in the cold. They see you like this and that you're kind of stuck in your head. Wishful thinking. Um, but then we have the, this, um, the present time. We have someone that's very supportive and have very caring feelings for you. When it comes after you cut something out with this Ace of Swords. Okay, so this is why we have the Three of Cups for why it's happening. It's showing that someone from your past, someone that you used to know, is making a return. They're making a return, and it's going to be a happy return. But it looks like you got to cut out the present time. Now, this person that's returning, they'll have very caring feelings for you. And they want to protect you. You'll no longer feel left out in the cold. Those days are gone. You'll be happy. You'll be jumping up and down. Up and down like these three people are. Where it says why it's happening. Above there, you see the card? That's the three of cups. You'll be jumping up and down and rejoicing. You'll be so happy with this person that's returning. Because... Like I said, you've got judgment right below there. You have to forgive, though. You have to forgive whatever happened in this connection. Or you have to forgive whatever happened with this past person That's that looks like they want to come back. Because like I said, the Three of Cups is about a romantic reunion. But it's, it's at a make or break period. Is that a make or break period? Now, this could go another way too. This could go that, this could go with meaning that you reunite with the person that you're with and you work on forgiving or somebody that's returning, okay? And this person has a lot of emotions for you because we talked about the king of, yeah, we talked about the king for the present time. Yeah, the king of wands. Uh, someone has very caring feelings for you. They want to protect you and support you. So if you know that this is not the person that you're with, it's someone from your past coming back. And you're going to be, you'll be very happy with this person very happy but you have to practice forgiveness okay with either this past person or if you're going to take back the person you're with but i'm picking up it's someone from your past okay someone from your past 